This is Zeus vs. Monsters, a math game for kids, and while I am no longer physically or mentally a kid, I'm still giving this guide for, I guess, the parents who want to give this game to kids. Or educators, I guess. I never was mentally a kid anyway, so let's start by modifying the controls a bit. Default should be pretty fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I'll just up the sensitivity a bit. Maybe add gyro. Yeah, sure. Looks good. <clears throat> I didn't take. I did, did not take. No. The game is not super deep. I guess it makes sense. That's going hard. How hard can it be? Ooh, ballsy. <laughs> so clearly this is a like a mobile port, as you can tell. This is interesting. You can get so this game is a multiple choice question thing, by the way. Apparently the three answers you can give are ASD, three arrows, or a mouse. That's really all I need to know. Mm. I think the best way of doing that is right here. Turn off overlap, but require click on. Remove that. Okay, I'm just gonna remove this. Uh, very aggressive words. It's just still a kid's game after all. Uh, we'll just double it up over here. Doesn't matter. These are fine. Is it? Yes. This is already fine. There will be no sprinting. There will be no using. There will be no escape. I don't know if we need to escape. So. No crouching, no reloading, no scrolling. No right clicking. Come on, come on, it's just a mobile port. Oh hey, we're gonna double up here as well. Ooh. Yeah, I'd say this works just fine. We'll keep the mouse in there just in case. Yeah, that's pretty much all the rest of the game, I guess. Let's do a quick round. And see a bunch of weird shit going on here.
No, the voice acting is impeccable. All right, let's try the stick now. Six, five, six, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that just works. Oh, did I use the pad? I'll use the pad. Three, four, nine. Oh, that was nine. All right. Well, let's just try that again. The voice acting is just... There's very little of it, but it's terrible. Yeah, this is fine. Um, let's see what other things I can do. So, what does escape do? Will escape be doing anything? Oh, it's the centaur. Giving a bit of mythology, I guess. Lustful and drunkenness. Okay, escape does do something. So, I guess I'll just... I guess there will be escape then. And if you want to learn or just get better at math just on your own pace, this is probably good enough for other people as well, not just kids. The whole list is pretty extensive. Multiplication, times 25, division, it's good. Alright, I'm just going to leave this in the centaur, with uh, the description that the centaur is half man, half horse. Most of the wild savage known for lustfulness and drunkenness, which is an excellent thing to put in a children's game. Just a horny horseman. Yeah.